At first, the rich smoky air grabs your senses. The beef or pork or ribs are piled high on some plain white bread. Taste buds savor that first bite. The tangy sauce dribbles down your chin. It's barbecue time in Kansas City. You would think we had invented it, but we didn't. The truth is, people have been cooking meat over flame for at least 25,000 years. The evidence is there in archaeological digs. There are references in the Bible and in Homer's Iliad. In Kansas City, barbecue is an art, a passion, and a slow-cooked institution. Hello, I'm Bill Kalaherka. Today on Kansas City Crossroads, we take you to a place in the road where Kansas City got its first taste of barbecue in the 1920s from a man named Henry Perry, standing on the street corner here just east of downtown, selling ribs wrapped in newspaper. By 1929, Mr. Perry was doing a brisk business in barbecued turkey, duck, pig, and goose. It didn't take long before Mr. Perry was showing others the art of coaxing flavor out of smoked meat. Folks like George Gates, Charlie Bryant, and his brother Arthur Bryant, who set up stands near the old municipal stadium. That meant that people from all over the city, suburbs, urban, all ethnic groups, everybody came down to the ball games naturally, and when they were there, they couldn't help but smell that wonderful hickory smoke. And that's when Kansas City began to develop this heritage of great barbecue. Kansas City's hands-on love affair with barbecue continued to grow, with neighborhood barbecue joints sprouting up all over the city. Each had its own style, perfecting the perfect barbecue sauce. People tell about, well, the, the, the meat is the backbone of the barbecue. It's not. It's the sauce. It's 90% of your barbecue business. Some like it tangy and sweet. Some like it spicy and hot. A lot of people feel that Kansas City has kind of been the melting pot of ideas and barbecue sauces because we have the spices and vinegar flavorings that come from uh, the eastern coast and then we have the uh, cane sugar and molasses uh, sweetness that came from the deep south and when you put all those together with the Texas spices you come up with what's kind of a Kansas City style sauce. Today nearly 80 barbecue restaurants dot the Kansas City landscape earning us a spot on the national map as a barbecue mecca. Visitors make frequent pilgrimages to sample this culinary wonder. You go anywhere, New York, California, any place, and if you, if you tell them you're from Kansas City, the first thing you're going to say, I wish I could get there and get some of that good barbecue. For Kansas City Crossroads, I'm Bill Kalaherka.